If you're looking to create music on your iPhone or iPad using GarageBand in this video, I've got something you just may want to check out. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now let's cut to the chase. I have just released my brand new beginner's guide to GarageBand iOS and in this video, you're going to learn all about it. So let's jump over to studiolivetoday.com slash courses and take a look. Here it is, my brand new GarageBand iOS beginner's guide. Now, I tend to call this a bit of an anti-course because it's a little bit different. For starters, it's only gonna set you back $10 US to get access to this. And it can actually be used in two different ways. You can use it using the standard guide here. So here you've got access to 19 different video lessons and these are hand-picked from my YouTube channel and they've got subtitles in there they've got full transcriptions. I'll show you all that in a moment, but you can also use this handy dandy search field. So it's more of an all access, always available way to actually jump in. So if you don't know how to do something in GarageBand, you can jump in at any time and search it. In fact, let's take a look at some of those search functions now. Let's say you're brand new to GarageBand and you don't know how to use EQ. Well, all you need to do is come to the search box here, type in EQ, and it will not only find the right video, but the right part of that video. Let's take a look. The next topic I wanna to cover is EQ or equalization. There you go, it jumps straight into that video topic. And from there, we can make the video full screen here. We could add subtitles. Now, subtitles are in English, and they're also in French and Spanish. So if you're bilingual or you don't speak English or it's not your first language, you're hooked up there. And you can play away the video here and it will show you exactly what you need to know. Now, this is probably one of the least understood topics when it comes to mixing, but, and of course, once you have access to the course, it is ad free. So you can watch these videos at your own convenience and jump around. The other cool thing is if you look down here below, you've got helpful links here to other videos that may help you out with that same topic as well as some related results. So let's just say we wanted to come in and learn more about the Visual EQ with a more complete video. We can click on, on this every one. Every track and you can't actually remove is the Visual EQ. And we jump straight into another video. Once again, we can full screen it, we can watch it and we can jump around from there. The other cool thing you can see down below is we have time clips. So you can actually jump between different sections of each video and a full transcript. Script. So you've even got the text there to go along with the video. And as you can see, there's even a microphone button here. So if you have a microphone connected, you can actually speak in your search term. Don't have a PC or a Mac handy? No problem. We've also got an iOS app. So all you need to do is download the Retrieve app, jump into the course, and you've got access to all of the videos here. So you can jump into the guide and check out all of the videos on your mobile device. Now you may have noticed that the app version doesn't have all the same functions of the desktop version, but no no problem. You can just jump here into Safari and load up the page. And here you get full access to the exact same version that you get on the desktop. So whether you're brand new to GarageBand, an intermediate user, or even an advanced user that just wants a handy reference guide for when you get stuck, consider the GarageBand iOS beginner's guide. Just head to studiolivetoday.com slash courses, click on the PayPal button there, $10 US, and you get complete access to the entire course.